Uh, dear Minister Popovich, dear guests from Israel, uh, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, it is my pleasure uh, to be here and to address you on behalf of the Embassy of Israel, and I would like to take this opportunity and thank Minister Popovich and his team, not only for this beautiful event, but also for an ongoing and long collaboration between Israel and uh, Serbia in the area of uh, innovation. I'm very proud that the third innovation talk that is dedicated to the relations between the startups and the VC, comp, a VC fund uh, is taking Israel as a kind of best practices or as a kind of uh, model. As Israel is considered a success story or what has been considered as a startup nation. Now, what does it mean to be a startup uh, nation? First of all, Israel is one of the biggest global innovation hubs, and uh, Tel Aviv is the second startup ecosystem in the world. Uh, there are currently in Israel around 7,000 uh, high tech companies, uh, mainly in internet, in uh, cybersecurity, telco software, and life sciences uh, industries. And the export of high tech in this uh, sector in Israel reached in 2019 52 billion. US dollar, which is about 64% of the overall Israeli export. Uh, multinationals play a very important and significant role uh, in the vivid Israeli ecosystem with the existence or the presence of more than 350 or 360 uh, multinationals. Now, how all this happened and what lies behind? Uh, don't worry, I'm not going to give a lecture about the history or the background of the innovation sector in Israel, but I would just like to emphasize, first of all, that probably necessity is the invention of, um, uh, is the mother of all inventions. And that uh, I think that uh, the success story of Israel is to know how to turn challenges into opportunity and disadvantages into, into advantages. Uh, and I'll give you only two examples. The one is the specific geopolitical challenges that Israel tackles uh, along its 72 years of existence. Uh, while, for example, Israel as a small country had to face um, security challenge with several fronts um, uh, around us, which made us uh, develop strong army, of course. But since we are a small country, uh, we had to rely on very technologically sophisticated units. So the army has become an important factor, an important motor for the, for the ecosystem and a very significant pillar in the ecosystem in Israel. Another example that has been mentioned here is the scarcity of, um, the scarcity of natural resources. The fact that Israel cannot rely on natural resources made her rely on other things that, she, that it had, which is mostly the human resources or the mind. Uh, the mines that have been mentioned here. I would add also that the government of Israel has supported uh, the startup, uh, startup and innovation sector for many years with long-term policy. And in the early 90s, uh, Israel invested in two programs that put wind in sales uh, of the high-tech uh, industry. One of the program is Yozma, that, was, that led to the establishment of 10 uh, VC funds uh, dedicated to attracting foreign uh, investments. And I'm very glad that the founders and managing partners of the biggest and the most successful of these funds, Pitango, are here with us. Uh, so welcome, Chemi, and welcome, uh, Rami. Currently, there are in Israel uh, 70 VC funds. Uh, and most of them are um, U.S. funds, but I would say that in addition to the Americans, in the last decade, investors from all over the world, and especially from Asia, namely from China, are flocking Israel in search of exciting uh, startups to invest in. Um, and VC funds continue to be a major source of influence and capital for local startups. Uh, the Embassy of Israel here in Serbia has been involved in this vivid and uh, emerging um, ecosystem uh, from the very beginning. And uh, I'm very proud that we are taking an active role in that. And one of the reasons is because we believe that the model that has been developed in Israel in a way fits 
Serbia uh, very well. First of all, we are speaking about two small countries or medium small uh, sized countries with the same population of around seven to eight uh, million. And which means it means that from the beginning, we cannot rely on our internal markets. We have to develop economy that is uh, export oriented, or I would call it go global. We have to look global, we have to think globally. Uh, a second thing is, of course, the qualified and the highly skilled employees that exist both in Israel and in Serbia. And I think that also Israel has developed, uh, in addition to the added value of uh, developing or growing the economy, one of the added value of the innovation sector is to tackle the question of how to bring back youngsters from abroad, from the diaspora. So I think that this uh, issue is in common for both Serbia and Israel. And uh, of course, we cannot ignore that both countries uh, have challenging geopolitical environments and indeed have to think of how to turn their challenges into, into opportunity. So the embassy is strongly supporting and actively uh, involved in the Serbian startup ecosystem. And besides numerous say, activities and initiatives that are taking place, we are very happy to see in the last years new partnerships between Israeli and Serbian uh, uh, tech stakeholders as a result of this ongoing activity. It's very encouraging to see, um, as Minister Popovic said, the Serbian uh, tech industry on the rise uh, with exports surpassing 1 billion uh, euro and 25% uh, of annual uh, organic uh, growth. So we look forward to see more Israeli uh, and Serbian joint ventures in IT industry uh, with significant investments and approach uh, to third markets and especially to the United States. So I wish you all a very successful conference. Thank you.